stop. Now, it is time. Crisis. Death. Be prepared. Make sure you have your, your fingers reflexively reach for the Villiers 9mm pistol in your pocket. Then you'd better get ready. Whatever happens. Holding the gun feels natural and satisfying. It's like an extension of your... It reminds you of the... De Sheath your sidearm, officer. A serious law official, cop by the book, should not... I'm all out of shit to give, loincloth. Welcome to the fucking reckoning. Put your damn gun down. People are gonna get hurt. Shut up! You're not gonna talk yourself out of this, loincloth shit fuck. This is the mercenary at the gates. His chest rises and falls under the ceramic breastplate. There's something very wrong with him. Shh. This is a misunderstanding. Nothing irreversible has happened yet. You can just return to your... The Kipt is merciful, willing to spare us if we just forget about our murdered and humiliated... You are all drunk. Come to your senses. You won't gun down seven people in the middle of the street. This is... Easy, Lizzie. Let me handle it. I know guys like this. I'm sure we can come to a peaceful agreement. He is facing overwhelmingly superior firepower and in the baseball. Nest in your abdominal cavity like a little wild mouse. The masked man's words are barely intelligible, but you can hear them. Fuck, there's a third one. How did we miss something like this? This third one, he is the most dangerous of the lieutenant is genuinely worried for his life. You should consult him before getting in there. If this turns into a firefight, we should take him out first. A sound strategy. He's the leader. The mercenary trap. My plan is not to get killed, but we have to intervene. Get lost, comedian. 
You cops had your chance. Now it's fucking time for some justice. I think he's calmed down. No, he didn't. He's about to open fire. Oh, yes, he is. Big fuck! Oh, people are gonna die today. We're not leaving it like this. These tribals. No one is going to kill anyone. Let's just put the gun. With a wordless gurgle, the killer, the leader, gives a small nod to the helmeted man. You feel your fists contract as you stand. Even if it comes to a fight, it's always a good. I don't know about this getting under his skin. He'll only get under yours. I'm bit peace. Always peace. It has worked thus far. Start with the first idea you have. Move down from there. Rude. Rude is the killer. Rude, the killer. Hoan Cloven. He doesn't talk much. All of you cunts inside out. Rip you open. The gunner. The raddest. What do you think he... There, on the rim of Owen Clerven's helmet, you count little stick figures. 19, 20, 21. About 50 little stick figures, all of them black, plus two little white ones in the end. You're a tick sucking pig! Uh, what are we waiting for? Let's blow the- Lance Corporal! Just fucking shut up and wait for your- He is not used to commanding or leading. He feels uncomfortable. He'd rather sh- You think I care what that company cunt thinks? <laughs> She's gone, you stupid fuck! As you look to the bay, you see a small green- Stay cool! Don't do anything stupid! The company bitch is gone. Lately. What the fuck are we still doing in this shithole? Guys, I, uh... I just get in the way. Hold your ground. Any more of you run, I'll shoot you myself. We're doing this. They're afraid. All of them. Trim. No. The rest will stay. They would hold their ground. Even if it means dying here with you. Dangerous. Ask about him first. Yeah, I don't fucking act so well. Lely had a hard on for making faces. Sergeant Major Rao Cortiner, reporting in to. As he moves, the interlocking pieces of Corti, Cortiner, Major Rao Corti, Cortin. For killing, maiming, and humiliating our commanding officer, were all sentenced to death by lead. Baby blue, yeah. But it was creepy, but bitches, bitches like that shit, I guess. Or find his killer. Cop, his killer, stands right there, shitting his pants, and you're standing. I know what this tactic is, Silo Sam. You're gonna die for this. This did nothing. You think you were on. Yeah? You should implicate yourself. Throw yourself onto the embrasure, chest first. Yeah? A suspect. Ruby is a suspect we chased down on the coast. She was hiding. You think I'm fucking stupid, cop? What if I just shot one of your pals here? How about the kid? Go ahead. Tell me that confusing shit one more time. Listen, please. This cop and this drumhead cop marshal won't decide. He's gonna do it. He's gonna shoot her. Your mind grinds to a halt. All you can see is the rope. He pulls the trigger. A plume of smoke erupts. The shot rings in your ears. A low tinny ring. I'm 
okay. I'm a fuck this. There's a course shuffle against something. Jean! Jam to Lizzie! Now! Who the fuck? Classia, the woman upstairs. Where is she? She left! Unarmed, hunched, but keeping it together. What am I doing? My fucking establishment is under fire! You know how much windows cost? She left! Her room's cleaned up! We should have arrested her. You can feel how upset he is with himself. Just for- Hey, Bushman! Your little cunt isn't gonna help you out of this one! International something. International look. <laughs> look around, you livestock! We're there will be ramifications, but there don't need to be. Let's go inside. We're not fucking coming. It's a miracle no one got shot this time. Yes. Yeah? So what? You should be drunk too. Or, like... All right. Let's do this. That didn't work at all. He's more... What's the matter, line club? Got your mouth full of dick. Think I'm gonna spare you? My brother is dead. Root. Kill him. The porcelain man raises his rifle and takes aim at you. His hands are steady, and the long barrel of the rifle sways slowly. You stare down the barrel of the gun. You see Rude's mask behind it. 0.6 seconds remain. There are six little black dots in the tip of the thick barrel, like a honeycomb. Is there anything, anything, we could use to protect this f Just dodge the first shot, and the second will be easier. Drunks are quick to anger, and make mistakes. From the corner of your eye, you see the lieutenant raise his pistol. The shot rings and you stumble. Something violently tugs at your shoulder, pushing you backwards with incredible force. A volcano of burning pain erupts from your left shoulder. The pain flows over your entire body like an off guard. Please. Then, two shots ring and you hear a scream. But you're too hurt. Blood gushes from the helmet's eye sockets as Rude staggers back. An unbelievable shot from the looter. Glenn, dying in a puddle of blood behind you. His mangled torso has two gunshot wounds. Blood. Oh God, watch out. You see two cold eyes looking at you. Through all the smoke and panic, and a pistol raised, aiming at your chest. Point a look of happiness. His eyes seem unnatural. Here it comes. Death. You simply blink, then something inside your pelvis explodes. Your entire lower body is on fire and your legs can't support you. You f nothing. A persisting darkness. Dancing light. You're bleeding out. Stay with me. Yes, keep talking. You hear me? But you can't. It's so hard. Your eyelids grow heavy, and the sounds ever more a shadow towering. Someone stands there, raising his pistol at him. The lieutenant does not see it. He's pushing down on your wound. No, you scream. Behind you, from your bloody... There is no room for hesitation. The lieutenant turns around. You hear a roar of pain. A death scream. The sound disappears. Like someone pressed stop on the... This is death. One more door, baby. One more door. The fight? There is no fight. The fight 
His heart. He's not taking it. His body is not taking it. Oh God, no. He and rotting and being disinfected and smelling of drugs and... He can't go. Not before the case is solved. There was a radio in the distance. A radio of the world. Plain sounds. Hours turn to days. Soon we will get... It was him. He is the infernal engine. He never stops. He only gets... You see the lieutenant's familiar shape in the orange jacket. It turns... It's nothing. You're alive. Sunrise, Arabella. Mr. Gart cleaned it. It took him an entire day. Two days, in and out. You've been up enough to take Dwamin and curse. And drink water. Sunrise Parabellum. Sunrise, prepare for war. Cops like it. The gates of the harbor are boarded up. The streets are a little more empty. Apocalyptic violence is... I think we may have held it off, for now. Barely. Yes, we have also completely failed. But that's okay. Pretty bad, officer. You've suffered two wounds. The first is beat. The second shot, we will see. No. A man and a woman sit in the front seat of an armored motor carriage. The woman is driving back to that shithole, he says. I called your station after the fight. The I'm sure they are worried about you. I did. No need. Not very. I have a concussion from the Major. Things would be worse if you didn't. Easy now. You can take it. Just don't lean on that leg of... How are you? Your disco days should have been done. It's not ouch time yet. It yes. The joke was... The close proximity of death must have made the lieutenant... Co what happened? We tried to take the diplomatic route and hoped they wouldn't attack first. They did. The Major gave the... Con As retaliation, the rifleman shot you. He hit with his carabine. I was looking for a clear line. He sounds a tiny bit sorry. He did. I shot and wounded him, while Glenn took a bullet in the spine. It was me. This is not the first person to die in his place. Titus, Fat Angus, and Theo charged. Angus and Theo died before they made it to intensive care. Titus died in the hospital yesterday. Alain and the young musician, I forget his name. They are all that's left. Yes. You were bleeding out. I think you said something about your wife, and you warned me. Thank you. I was not able to kill him, as I should have. Cranel took him. A stray bullet killed the Paul, though. And that's what happened. Yes. This is the one. He's in a private hospital across the river. Cranel claimed him from the local butcher shop where Titus died. There is unveiled. We won't get to him anymore. Five. Glenn, Theo, Angus. And Elizabeth too. Elizabeth Beaufort was her name. The gardener. No, she bled out before Everhart's surgeon could help her. Everhart sent his personal doctor, but... A costly loss for the Union. She was being trained for leadership. I know you did. That's right. All. Yes, officer. Six people are dead. It's not a success. But what's done is done. The violence is cold enough. The Hornets did not. And we are... He's smoking. He's... I honestly don't know. Do you? Be yes, she left yesterday morning. To meet the board of Wild Pines. Oh, that is what I've heard. There's a pin somewhere in the machine that keeps Connell from sending in a dead. Maybe it's her. Maybe she kept her hand. Either way, Ruby's gone. And Classio too. We really should have arrested her, you know?
I don't know. I think the dangerous theory you presented on Classia, or whatever her name is, was wrong. We have not found a motive. Honestly, I think our investigation has not produced a single credible suspect. I don't know. That's... yes. God cursed the footprints, not solving the case for us. What? Every piece of garbage in the city is not connected to the case. You don't have to keep everything. It's extremely easy. There are thousands lying around. We found one. All completely unusable. It's precisely how easy it is to find one. We could find thousands... But they seemed so mysterious. No need to be melodramatic. What is? Something. He does not know what to reply. It's morning outside. You think he arches his brow. The ceiling fan patiently spins overhead. I'm listening. I'm ready to hear what it's really... He sounds... That concussion must be making him dizzy. I don't think so. Are you good? What? A gust of wind blows in from the bay. The duraluminium box around you vibrates imperceptibly. A familiar cold. Why not? Another look at the window, perhaps? The one he was shot through. I don't... Bathroom mirror has been wiped completely clean. You see? These papers bear the stamp of the RCM. They appear to be fragments of the- I had Garth open the door to your room. You were running a low bacterial fever the first night. It would have been easy were it not for my concussion. We both got lucky, considering the art. I am sure need... a note. If I'm sorry. I fucked everyone over. P.S. A gift. I am not drawing my gun. Yet. He says he's not, but his hand moves. Just don't walk into another radio trap, okay? It's hardly surprising. I am not. He said just don't walk. The medicine pity. Of course you were. I'm fed up. Be honest. He's not grilling you. He just wants to know. Ask if he's ever wanted to take it to. Hmm. Thought so. Let's go? Mm-hmm. This window is pristine. At least on... This is ballistics. She's left a trajectory for us. Golden light melts away into the blue, glassy darkness of your mind. In it are two neon-lit shapes. A man and a woman on the single bed. Like the witness said, the man is kneeling. The woman is on her back. It's a night... The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth. A ray cast from somewhere, the red thread bisecting the room shows the trajectory from the roof outside. Location A prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole. Shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. The ray cast from the man's mouth 
unravels into a fan of possible directions, all on the roof at first. The shot could have come from any of them. This is composite location A prime, most likely of the origin points. 72% with an antique weapon that fires military grade ammunition, a Belmagrave rifle, for example. This is a good short distance, but not too short. The lights were on in here. Outside it was dark. It was like shooting fish in an aquarium. A well-lit aquarium. The victim oh, that's a 28%, yes. In this model, the shot could have come from a greater distance. Maybe if you extrapolate all possible points of origin first, the thread will make sense. The man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He According to your map of the district, this shot could have come from a wide angle of locations, starting with the northern edge of the abandoned boardwalk, ending with an islet in the bay. Let's call them B Prime. B Prime for boardwalk, B Double Prime for land's end, and B Triple Prime for the islet detective. 700 meters away. The likeliest of these B positions, 20% chance. A skilled sniper could have made 1.2 kilometers away. The least likely of the one kilometer away, an unlikely point of origin. Beyond the dock, the shot would have been a small miracle, 5% likelihood. There is an extremely narrow field of view from the bay to the window. Then there's the thread the witness left. She did have a first hand view of the event. Perhaps she found something in the outer reaches of her memory. It suggests the bullet came from the extreme upper quadrant of possible angles, from a point beyond the roof. B triple prime. The island in the bay. Unless she thinks the perpetrator was standing on the ring antenna, that is where the thread seems to point. She was there. It also looks like there may be more to her skill set than we know. The question is, should we trust her? I find that hard to believe, but at this, so it is. For a second he seems... tired. No, there's nothing else. How do we get there? Joyce Messier had a sloop, but she's gone. Ah, yes, of course. The village. Two neon-lit shapes, a man and a woman, having sex. A ray of backward motion explodes from his mouth to the roof outside, A prime, to then widen into a radius of locations in Martinet. Good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it. You're welcome. I thought it would be nice for you to... Defended maybe putting it a bit generously, though. I had a great view of you doing nothing to stop... He really wants you to realize that he was also on the balcony looking by. I wish you a quick recovery. Oh, you know, people don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're... I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Yeah, I was. It really took courage. Don't pick at him. Yeah, I don't know. Clients were panicking. And all he means it. No problem. Uh, 
Hi again, gendarme. Bye-bye, gendarme. Seeing you approach. Oh, it's you. Didn't think we'd see you walking any... Huh? What? He's very... Our condolences for your losses. Titus. What's gonna happen to the Hardy Boys? Look around you, man. No, man. I don't know. Elaine, he won't damn songbird of misery, that one. And do you have any information on the God said she took off some time. Does he look He does while still alive, he has abandoned his own body. He wasn't. That's the thing. <sighs> I, I just that's nothing. This is a broken man. He pr I'm not suggesting much. All I'm saying is he lost everything. What? Sons of bitches. Was this really the best idea? I guess you may have prolonged his existence a bit. If you can. St if you think this will keep him from often. Yeah, you, both of you. We shouldn't have fucked with you like. That's kind of you to say. Take care of your fr I will. You take care of your. A sharp pain shoots up your side and. The graffito has been painted over the traces of the fight that this was Cindy the Skull. The lieutenant crouches. Looks like it. Yes. This is end blood. Heavy fuel oil. Isn't that? The fuel oil catches fire immediately with a low hiss. But what if the words are not directed at the people of Martinez, or even the coalition aerostatics above the city? They're meant for... The lieutenant has taken a small step back. The flames warned him too. Let's go to that island. Slowly, the flames subside. The fuel... Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio... This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? 10 four, come in. Uh, firework, uh, over. 10 four, sir. 10 four. Roger that. 10 10, over and out. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Hold on. I've got Central Jamrock Public Library. Yes, this is Central Jamrock Public Library. He sounds worried. Yet. Billy. Billy Majon, you said. Give me a moment. I'll have to check up. On Moreau Drive in Central Jamrock, in a darkened hall, lit by orange desk lamps, far away from the noise outside. A middle aged Yes, hello, are you still there? I found Billy Majan's home address. Is that alright? No phone number, unfortunately. They're too poor to have a phone line. Here we go, sir. Rue de Saint Gislain, 33B. That's where the smoker on the balcony lives. Isn't it? It says here that they returned their last book just a few days ago, but I wasn't at work that day. Marie? Marie? Do you remember a reader named Billy Majon? Maurice, what? A woman yells. Then, yes, yes. Yes, it, it was my colleague Marie. Uh, she said that it was Billy's husband who returned the book. He also asked for this new sci-fi release, Lowe's Radio City 87. Good. You have a name now. Marie knows Billy. She's been working here longer than me. And then, goes for a little drink later. 
on the lookout. Sorry, no. Marie only knows him by sight. Marie? She said it was an older man, and that she's pretty sure he'd had a drink or... Uh... One second. Sorry, Marie wasn't really paying any attention to that. Happy we could help. Anything else you need from me? Something is wrong. Oh, no reply. Only the... He's been this way for a while now. My guess is, it only happens when someone mentions the attack. The rest is unaffected. Our best bet is to carry on like nothing happened. No more dangerous than st I don't like it either, but that's the way it is. The street, you can try calling again. Just don't mention the- They're shutting you up. Silent, everything sounds okay. No drumbeat of total war yet. In the cabin, you see a set of- scaffolding around the old an apricot scepter shines party bright across the monument glitter balls dangle like severed heads below the eternal king doesn't feel right to party now does it are you at least happy with it putting on a brave face and partying as hard as possible is the best way to get through tough times <clears throat> detective i have a few questions if you don't mind about this, uh, pursuit of wealth, pursuit of recognition. He nods, eyes still on the megas. Why did you do it? He nods. The roundabout is quiet, almost eerily so. Good, take no responsibility over this disaster. People are trying to... It may have good intentions, but... But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. You managed to get a quite a fortune, kicked off by underpaying a young artist. And don't forget about th the lieutenant speaks as if you're rich. A common misconception, especially if you count the tax. No, we've got a long way to go before we can feel financially comfortable. The hustle never stops. Ah, yes. Spoken like a truth. All right, shall we? We still have some things left to do before we can go home. I don't think we have time for that. And even if we did, I doubt he's around anymore. Sure. The disco dancer towers above, mounted on a horse. Numerous rods and ropes still hold the original reassemblage. Something with great connect. The monument stands. The scaffold. The roundabout is quiet. The roundabout is quiet. Weathered brown door. Something smells good. The lieutenant motions to you. This is the door. You already know it's the right door. This. You're right. Let's talk this through. You hear some light footsteps and what appears to be a. We have our first preliminary identification. In all likelihood, the deceased is the husband of Billy Mejean. We need to confirm this as well as deliver the death notification to Billy. Now, Delivering a death notification is never an easy task. 
There's a reason why it's often called the most stressful part of our job. This is why it's usually done in pairs. You got this. I'll be monitoring reaction. Dad, just don't say that you know how they've good advice. Yes, it's hard. But there The lieutenant motions towards the door. Hello? And someone turns down the radio. He gives you a short... The police! I'm Tidy enough, this fear in... Come in, the door... It's you, from the book stand. Did you come to bring my cockatoo back? I don't think I introduced myself properly. I'm Billy. Would you- The lieutenant has taken off his foggy glasses, and he must feel vulnerable without his glasses. Is this why he's letting you take the lead? She, keep it together. You're Sorry, I'm rambling. It's just that Definitely no small talk. It's like ripping off a bandage. The least painful way is to do it straight away. You've done this before. Just keep your focus. What did you say? A great and terrible spike. Oh. Oh. But... He was just... But he was just... We understand this comes as a huge shock. I want you to know that me and my partner are here. What happened to him? Was he drunk? I see. And you just... How long had he... If you say, two days maybe, it will be etched in her mind forever. She blinks. Eyes welling up with the handkerchief. Yes, thank you. Is there anyone we could call for you? No, no. I just need to tell my girls. It burns. God, should I call them? No. A day. Good. That's probably the right thing. Just tell me, what do I need to do next? We've taken him to the city morgue. The local coroner will be contacting you shortly to arrange the funeral. Is there anything else? No, I'll call you if something comes up. Thank you. Thank you. These are her last reserves of strength. We should step outside and talk. You did well. I'll call the station when we're finished with the day. And they'll manage. They have to. That's it. We Let's go.
Listen, Tear. An empty tooth. No. A trap. He shakes his head. A tragedy. He shakes his head. Close your eyes and strange. This is not how you started before. You dialed 001. This is not the area code of Revershaw. 4141117 Yes. 4516745. You have dialed God knows how many in an ultra long distance call. Your air fills with a crackle. The wash of a calling. Calling. The saddest, both pitiful and terrifying, calling st ringing by the bedside of a dark but capacious apartment with long- The handset starts slipping from your sweaty palm. Your breathing is heavy. You just do. The lieutenant is too far away, calling, 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 calling. Call then the ocean breaks out of the depths. Hello? You're not a kingsman, Harry. You're trunk. You only have two, maybe three things left to say before the change runs out. Set cramping up with pain. Oh no, please stop. She does not answer. Harry. Disconnect tone. The machine ran out of money. You dial in the calling, 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 call, 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 call. It looks like she doesn't call it, call. Underneath it, she is naked and warm. Under a blanket. Please. I'm going to hang up now, okay? Phone disconnect. You dial the call, 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 it, call it, and call it. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up. I can wash it for you. But it's going to take about a half. No, 
We must run around ceaseless. I could use a breather. It's been an- Well, mercy. I, even I can see that. I told you not to- Though I suppose you took the worst of it. Turns out you were- I'm not sure those were the loss of the men with guns. I then we'll be ready for them. Here he is! Great! He's struggling to cover up his nerves. Now. Well, no rush. But it'd be good to know what you make. My jacket? A look of consternation crosses the man's face. He what the fuck are you talking about, Tequila? Rosemary, what the f- Oi! That's the jacket you stole two weeks ago! From the kid who was making it with his ga- That's disgusting. I've never done anything like that in my life. It becomes abundantly clear to you how this man managed to lose his keys. I'm calling it. It's neurological. You know what? Fine. Maybe I can pawn it for some booze. Hi. Good thinking. Yeah. Two sets. Right. Let's hear you then. I put a lot of work into that project, Tequila. A lot of work. Had to bring back my hustle game and call in some old partners to pull it off. So come on, tell me what I want to hear. You love it. Give me more, give me more. What do you like most about it? I bet you're glad you hired me as your personal brand strategist now. You bet your ass. Thanks for this, boss. Just what I needed. Legend returns. You know the dance. Smoke. Aye. By amphetamine, I mean speed. Aye. Good, good, my man. Now, what can I. Uncle. This. 